Hello and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we are going to look at the factors affecting the rate of osmosis. There are two main factors that affect the rate at which movement of water molecules take place. And these two factors are osmotic pressure and temperature. We start by looking at the osmotic pressure gradient. Osmotic pressure gradient refers to the difference in the osmotic pressure between two solutions that are separated by a semi-permeable membrane. You will recall that the osmotic pressure is the tendency of a solution to take in water from another solution. The osmotic pressure is determined by the solid concentration, whereby the higher the solid concentration the higher the osmotic pressure. Now take for instance these two solutions here, the solution A and solution B. Solution A is 30% sugar, while B is 60% sugar. In terms of solid concentration, solution B has a higher solid concentration than solution A. And for that reason, Solution B will develop a high osmotic pressure compared to solution A. And as you will remember, osmosis always takes place from a region of high water concentration or low solid concentration to a region of high solid concentration. In this particular case, osmosis will take place from solution A where there is a high water concentration to solution B. Now compare this with this other pair of solutions, of solution C and D. Solution C is 50% sugar, while solution D is 70% sugar. Now osmosis will take place from a region of high water concentration to a region of lower water concentration, or from a region of lower solid concentration, that is 50% sugar, to a region of higher solid concentration, that is 70% sugar. So water molecules will move by osmosis from solution C to solution D across this semi-permeable membrane. Now, the difference in osmotic pressure between the two solutions is what forms the gradient. In the first case here, there's a gradient or a difference of 30%, while in the second, there is a difference of 20%. This gradient determines the rate at which osmosis will take place. Now, in this case, the rate of osmosis is going to be higher from solution A to B than from solution C to D because of a higher osmotic pressure gradient between solution A and B. So this way, the osmotic pressure gradient between two solutions determine the rate at which osmosis will take place. The second factor that affects the rate of osmosis is temperature. The higher the temperature, up to a certain point, the faster the rate of osmosis. Now why is this? It's because high temperature tend to increase the kinetic energy of water molecules, so they move at a faster rate, thereby bringing about a faster rate of osmosis. But an increase in temperature is only, uh, will only have a productive or a positive effect up to a certain point. High temperature will denature and destroy the cell membrane to a point that the membrane will be incapable of carrying out osmosis. So an increase in temperature will only apply up to a certain point such that as the temperature increases, the rate of osmosis also increase, but beyond a certain point, high temperatures will denature destroy the cell membrane thereby
the osmosis to a stop.